you explain the uh, continuing popularity of Paul Johnson in certain intellectual circles? Paul Johnson? Yeah. Modern right, right, right. How do you explain this continuing popularity? Uh, well, I think he, well, he's, there's some merit. I think modern times a certain amount of merit. It's, uh, he's, he's obviously also Great Depression. It's <laughs> figure with merit. But I think uh, um, basically Paul Johnson is part of the, the international, uh, really Anglo American neocon movement, the neoconservative movement. Uh, I'm, I'm not a big fan of the neoconservative movement. In fact, I'm, uh, I think they're, they're endangered both the old fashioned conservatism and the libertarianism. Uh, basically, neocons are statists, and they're basically the position they take. They're very smart. They have a lot of media influence through the Wall Street Journal, Irving Crystal, and so forth, and uh, Jack Kemp. And uh, basically, their position they want a more efficient welfare state. They want a welfare state after pre McGovern, pre 1967. Uh, in favor of the New Deal, in favor of the Fair Deal. They love Hubert Humphrey and all, and all that stuff. And they only stop with McGovern and, and post McGovern. That's not good enough for me. I'm against the New Deal from the very beginning, even the progressive movement, much less <laughs> the Deal. So they're, they're collectivists. They believe in American position of collective might all over the world, pushing everybody around for the base for, base for world democracy or whatever. And I, I think it's a very dangerous movement. And the English seem to be into this quite a bit. The English right wing is now almost all neocon, except for a few maverick uh, types. So. Uh, and they have a huge amount of influence, much more than their, their numbers, even more than, we have somebody mentioned tonight, like, libertarians are more influential than their numbers. Neocons are even more so, enormously influential, and very few actual people in it. But they have the levers of power, they're very smart, they have, mostly are ex-Marxists or ex-Trotskyites, and they have, they know how to organize cadre work, and get their people in the right, kick out their opponents, and put their own people in. And so they've managed to be very successful that way.